Dell laptops take only 65 watt of charging through USB power delivery with any charger except the Dell original ones. I can't take any claim to fame about this finding. It was the user Nick that found this out and posted a comment on one of my USB-C charging videos for Dell Inspiron 15 7000. I have seen Every time I plug in my charger and start the laptop, the message that says you have plugged in an underpowered 65 watt charger into the USB-C port. But I never paid attention to the fact that it says you have plugged in a 65 watt charger. And now when I double check in BIOS how much charge the battery is taking, how much charge the laptop is getting, with both my 90 watt charger, my 87 watt charger, and my 100 watt charger from Hyperjuice. It doesn't matter which one I plug in, the laptop is still taking 65 watts of power. I'm currently plugged in with my LV Sun charger. It's a 90 watt charger that I've used and had quite big success with. And as you can see here in the BIOS, it is showing up as a 65 watt adapter. The funny thing I see about this is that I have been bashing the ASUS Rogue G14 for the fact that they state that they can only take 65 watts through the USB-C charger. And I've been claiming that that is a big minus with this laptop, comparing it with the fancy Dell Inspiron 15 7000 that can take a full 100 watt from the USB-C charger, and never really bother to check if that is actually the case. If anyone that owns this machine has a Dell USB-C charger, either the 90 watt one or the 130 watt one, it would be amazing if you could go into BIOS and check under battery settings and see how much power you are getting from the charger that you are using with USB-C. Because what I have found from reading forum posts and reading comments all around the web is that this is only a thing when you're using a non-Dell USB-C power delivery charger. All the non-Dell chargers charge at 65 watts, but the Dell chargers charge at the full wattage. So at this point, I am quite impressed that I've never found this out from making this 30 plus videos about the laptop and that no one until a few days ago has pointed this out before. However, maybe this is the point where it's time to actually take the plunge and purchase one of those Dell USB-C chargers to be able to edit video and play games and get the full charging wattage instead of only the 65 watts. The only time I've seen some signs on that something weird is going on with my USB-C chargers is when the battery goes down to zero and it's been taking ages to be able to charge it up the first few percent and with the 130 watt charger it's been taking seconds. So I figured that the difference between the USB-C charger of 90 watts and the barrel charger of 130 watts couldn't be that big but apparently then it has been that my USB-C chargers has been at half the wattage compared to the barrel one. Thank you for tuning in to this quick update video. I just received a text that my Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 has arrived at the post office. So tomorrow I'm going to go and pick it up. And then you can look forward to an unboxing video of this new laptop review subject that I have. I'm W2Best. I make videos about tech travel and inspiration. And I will see you in the next video. Have a really nice day. Bye-bye.